As an airport, sustainability is crucial. It needs to be at the heart of everything we do. People in the local area really view Gatwick as a neighbour and part of the community. We have about 75 hectares of land that we've set aside for wildlife. It really creates this amazing mosaic. We have lots of different types of species. I've always lived in, in this area in Sussex and Gatwick is our local airport. If you live in the local area then you'll most certainly have some friend or family that work at Gatwick. We've been running the apprenticeship programme for the last 46 years. We take our young people in and over a four year period with no experience we teach them to be qualified engineers and our engineers of the future. We only have one planet Earth, so that means at Gatwick we need to make sure that to reduce our impacts. We've just changed our net zero target to be 2030 instead of 2040. We're doing all that we can to influence those things over which we have control. Changing all of our boilers and getting off natural gas. We need to change our vehicle fleets so we don't use any petrol and diesel. When a plane is parked, we plug it in. It doesn't need to use jet fuel to generate electricity. As far as we know, we're the only UK airport that uses sheep to keep the grass short. Next time passengers are flying out of the airport, they should take a look out the window as they take off and see if they can spot the sheep and Gary the goat. A lot of people don't know that we have over 2,000 species recorded here at Gatwick Airport. We have a lot of different habitat types in, in a fairly small area. Without the airport being here, It'd be hard to know what these habitats would be today, what other pressures they might be coming under. But thanks to the airport, we're able to safeguard them specifically for wildlife. All these things will contribute to making Gatwick more sustainable by 2030. They're just steps on the way to a more sustainable future.